community is brought to you by Carriage Crossing Senior Living. A Central Illinois teen is on a mission to help women know it's okay to take up space. She's taking her platform to the state level as she competes for Miss Illinois Teen USA. Ariana Thompson of Muhammad is here with us. Ariana, we are so excited to have you. I'm let's to be here. Well, welcome, first of all. Let's talk a little bit about your platform, Taking Up Space what that means to you? So personally, as a girl, I feel like there's many experiences that you see firsthand that you don't necessarily realize that it's like, well, you're a girl, so you can't do this. And when I first recognized this was when I was in my fifth grade class, and my teacher, no hate to you, Mr. Heinold, I'm not calling you out, but <laughs> he was asking people to take out the trash, and everybody raised their hands. We're fifth graders. Everybody wants to be included. And he chose mostly boys. No girls were chosen. So we're all sitting there like, wait a minute, he just chose all boys. Like, we can take out trash, too. So then it kind of made me realize that people are putting me at a disadvantage because of my gender. And growing up, when curating my platform, I realized that this was something that I was really passionate about and was underlining that I didn't really realize. And being able to take it at a bigger level, as I have done, has I've been really grateful for. So right now you're Miss Muhammad, yes. Teen USA, is that correct? Yes. And so now throughout your year as Miss Muhammad, you're using this as a platform to talk mm -hmm. to people yeah. about this platform. And now you're heading to Miss Illinois Teen USA. Mm -hmm. It's a few days away, May 28th through 30th, so okay. crunch time is on. How are you preparing? How's that all going? Well, I'm working with my coaches all the time, whether that's my interview coach or my walking coach. I also am working with my trainer every single day. <laughs> um, but other than that, it's kind of like a mental preparation too, because people, of course, are asking me if I'm nervous, but it's kind of just a smooth ride right now. I know that I've done everything to make sure that I'm fully packaged and that I'm the best person that I can be, so whatever happens, happens and going into it. I'm just grateful for the experience. Well, let's talk about the experience that's awaiting for you. It's in Bloomington, yes. right? There, I think, at ISU. On at the Braden Auditorium. Yes. Correct. So walk us through kind of what this style of pageant is like, what you're going to have to do. Okay, so first on Friday, I'll kind of just chill out with my family. It's kind of like a little send-off. On Saturday, we do registration, give everybody our wardrobe, et cetera, and go right into rehearsals. And that night, we compete in prelims, which withholds competing in our fitness wear and our gown just for then. Then on Sunday, we go into our interview, and then we get released and get to go spend a little time with our family. And on Monday is the day everybody, two girls, get crowned, and you compete in your fitness wear your gown, and then an onstage question, and then somebody's crowned. Awesome. Yeah. And two girls, as in there's going to be an the older miss, yes. miss. Okay. And how did you get involved, and when did you get involved well, in all this? I've been competing in pageants since I was six. I competed okay. at Miss Little, Little Miss Oakland <laughs> in 2014, and just caught the badger bug from then. And I think a lot of people realize, as a matter of fact, um, on my persuasive speech for my final speech class today, I did a speech on how pageants are more than just beauty and kind of made me come to a realization of how this journey has really formed me into who I am today and how people have that negative false perception of what pageantry is. Yeah, well, I'm just surrounded by beautiful <laughs> pageant girls here and it looks you, there are some pictures. Yes. I'm guessing this is something close to your heart. You're, yes. And you're giving back. Yeah. What is this? So in this picture, it was around Easter time, I believe, which was a few weeks ago, as we know. And we took Easter baskets and donated them to the Children's Hospital of Peoria. So that's what I got to do. As a matter of fact, that's with Dee. She's the coordinator and everything. I love her. She's so sweet. But. As of right now, since of COVID and everything, we can't go up and visit the kids and personally hand care them, but we've done the best as we can. We also went during Christmas time and gave presents, so. Awesome. Well, we are so excited for you. Yes, how can people watch the pageant and so um, keep up with you? Either come in person to watch or you can stream on pageantsvision.com. Um, and keeping up with me, my Instagram's Ariana J. Thompson. I don't remember if there's an underscore. I don't think there is. <laughs> I'm it. searching. Probably find <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. And you can keep up with me. There's also an Instagram for taking up space, but that's linked in my bio. So okay. that's how you keep there up. There you go. All right. Impromptu question time. Okay. Your cell phone Ready. falls into the outhouse. <laughs> Do you leave it or retrieve it? Oh, I leave it. Oh, <laughs> or I'll, why she do? Or I'll leave somebody else to do it. Personally, 
I don't like outhouses <laughs> in as general. It is. Yeah, and I I'm love like, yeah. my phone. I truly do. But at the end of the day, it's not that important to me. <laughs> I will get it replaced. I don't want to stick my hand in an outhouse. <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh, my goodness, I'm with good you. Answer. Good yes. answer. Well, good luck, good luck. Thank we'll connect you. you with how you can keep up with Ariana on CILiving.tv.